they use is on that back wall there, has an axe blade like this, and they will cut in and then pull. I can run my hand up and down this pole all day long and short of areas like this where the knot holes are, I will never get splintered. That's how good the ag is. Now, they use the red cedar for totem poles because it This will then go at the base of that when you do it. Now if you look down here, you'll see this is all carved out right here. Now, what, there, there are several reasons they do this. One is because they need to take wood, they need to take weight off of the <laughs> Plus they need to allow moisture to penetrate the bulk on the bottom. That stops it from cracking so bad and drying out so bad. Even though while they're carving, they will take the wood with linwood oil or linseed oil or whatever kind of oil they use. Then it'll be attached to a dowel rod like the central pole here, and a piece will be put on the back of the pole to hide that. Oh, Eagle, nope, sorry, I lied, it's a raven. Okay, <laughs> it was big and it was in the sky, sorry. Now you'll notice that this pole in the middle does not have a cover, and that's because that's the oldest pole in Saxony to Village. And I'll be telling you guys about that when we get it. Now, this is a secondary bush. It is called that, not because it's a secondary bush, but it's a memorial bush. It memorializes the time in their Then you have more thorium or mortuary poles, which tell you how someone died. Then you have shame poles, or ritual poles.